Welcome to the shop. I'm just getting things laid out for today's project. Uh, I haven't gotten around to taking all the measurements yet, um, but I will. Uh, and the whole goal is to take these QCTP type with the you know 60 degree blah 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 and make them work with the OXA type. So and I covered this in a previous video um, but this is the, the, the tool that finally made it here to make this possible so 60 degree uh, 60 degree yada yada um, and both this is the OXA which I believe is a little deeper and I know is wider uh, so now the goal is to measure and see if these need to be made a little deeper before I make them a little wider. So, kind of a thing. Right now, uh, I only have two of the OXA type, which is fine, like I guess if, if you're only doing a couple of operations a day, but I've got like what, four of these QCTP type uh, that I'd like to have work with the OXA. So that's that's today's content, so let me get through some measuring and uh, move on from there. Actually, maybe I'll see if I can get this this camera a little uh, closer so I can show, show, show. See, English is a, is a struggle right now. So I can show uh, the measurements that uh, I'm going to need to make and how I'm going to kind of make those measurements and these are yeah these are a lot different so here we go I'm down this is the indicator which needs to be zeroed there we go so now we are at zero and let's see what the depth dip depth depth there's a there's a fun word to try to say five times fast uh, so the depth is 277 right yeah 277 there and nowhere near that here so we're at 2300 here depth wise so 277 2300 <clears throat> um, and I'm just gonna do a, a rough measurement of width which is 8500 and this one's gonna be over that which is the this is a 9600 so Let's get, now this is recycled information from the internet, other content creators. Like how, how do you get the appropriate angle? Measure with these. Ah, but yeah, you know, they make this look so easy. You gotta wonder how much time they put into, <clears throat> so that's a half an inch half an inch versus this, which I'm anticipating being quite a bit narrower. Yeah. So a half an inch versus, you know, three eighths of an inch basically. So that's good news. Let's measure these again. Yeah, three seven. We we'll just call that three seven, and they got to come out to what? 
3,700 versus half an inch, 500 thou. So, 3,700 versus 500. Get the calculator. Calculator is what I'm going for here. Calculator. 500 minus 30, 370 equals 130 thousandths. Uh, and then we need to divide that by 2. So, need to take 65 thousandths off each side. Um, so the, the, I can get this back up so you can see my face. So the, uh, oh. So I'll be using the digital readout uh, today. Um, and I'm not sure if these need to go down inward any further uh, because they look like there's a pretty good standoff on the, on the tooling. But I know in order to get an accurate measurement, I'm gonna have to take it down a little further. Like that's, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty uh, remarkable difference right there. So, <sighs> okay, back for the next round of setup. Got some parallels that need to go in here. I was able to use the uh, R8, call it with uh, this particular setup. See if I can get it into view. Yeah, there's the R8 call it in view, which makes me happy. Um, although I don't think the digital readout will end up being in the shot when it's all said and done. Um,
Okay, a uh, bunch of work later, and these are all, every one of them, uh, opened up to accept the OXA type tool holders. So now it's just about setting the height and, 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 and I actually have a bunch of usable tooling now, which puts me in a good mood. So uh, I'll look forward to seeing you next time around, I suppose. Uh, and I'm just going to take a second and show these. These are, are the pin gauges are what I used to uh, to get the uh, initial measurement on the width. Uh, thanks to a whole lot of YouTube researchers research. I suppose if I, if I was making brand new dovetails, that information would have been more useful for me but I'm not. I'm refurbishing the uh, QCTP which are these guys the QCTP and you can see the fresh machining on them to uh, mate with the OXA. So now that we've done that hopefully the the difference is perceivable by the I get my finger out of the way right uh, the finger fingered I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore but hopefully the difference is perceivable so thanks for coming along for the ride and I suppose we'll see you next time yeah anyway if, if I'm lucky I'll see you next time like I wouldn't want to listen to me but whatever <laughs>